listening. So hello, I'm Marcel. I'm teaching yoga here every day on live stream, but this will be also going on YouTube. This up here is Sean. He sends you energy, motivation and entertainment. So if you look into his eyes, you will get some of it. We also have our special guest here today. That's Usheli. Usheli is, is here to get some pets. So if you, <laughs> if you have a cat around or uh, a dog or a turtle or a snail or a snake, you can pet it a little. So if you like to join in today in this yoga lesson, then please come to sit. Sit down, rooting your sitting bones to the floor as good as you can. And making it comfortable. So feel free to change anything so that you feel comfortable all the time. So for we will sit for a moment and then we do some other poses. So first of all, start to breathe in deeper, put your left hand on the belly, right hand on the chest and start breathing deeper into your belly, then into your chest. Breathing in as active, breathing out as passive. Good. Breathing in. feel if as you're breathing in deeply your posture changes so do you start to sit more upright maybe it's just like this little tiny bit and then think about sitting up more upright think about something is pulling you up on your head a rope is attached to your head and it's pulling you up. Breathing in deeply. Take your belly into your chest and release. And And then taking some time for yourself to find an attention for this day. For not just this day, but I mean this yoga lesson. An intention you can take up and then let go again after the yoga lesson. And anything that comes to mind so maybe I want to get stronger in the legs, I want to get stronger in the arms. Or um, I want to be, be more active on my thoughts, for example. Let it come up to you and as soon as something comes up, do know that it's the right thing. And I'll give you some time for this. If you found something, then rest with this intention in mind. And 
bring your arms down to the sides and release this intention again. Think about it and releasing it, coming back to it when we need some more energy. Bring the arms up. Standing the arms and releasing. Breathing in as you lift your arms up. And releasing the breath as you let go of the arms. And the arms up, breathing in deeply. And releasing the arms down. Let's go to the side, right arm, right hand to the side, extend the left side, getting longer on the left side. Yeah. As you breathe out, change the sides, left arm to the floor, straighten the right hand arm, get longer through the side body and change again as you breathe out, breathing in deeply, getting longer. And breathing out, changing it in. Yeah. See you soon, Ujeli. Okay. And continue on your own, going left and right here. Good. Mm. Let's go one more time each side. Shoulders onto the back, drawing the belly in and up. Getting longer on the side body, breathing out, changing the sides, standing the other hand, getting long on the side and releasing down, bring the hands on the thighs and from the thighs we move our shoulders forward, up and back. Our hands are going forward and back. Connect us with this feeling of the hands going forward, upward and back and down. Maybe feel the warmth of the thighs or feel the warmth of the hands, wherever it is. And just make forward circles or backward, backward circles. It's backward circles. Bring the shoulders up, back, then down. Up, back, and down, forward, up. Go in your own rhythm here. Releasing the neck. What does it do to your shoulders if you release the neck down? And releasing again. Coming into all fours here. Bring the shoulders over the wrists and hips over the knees and start arcing up slowly. Arcing up from the lower spine up, from the top of the head down. And arcing up again from the lower spine up and from the top of the head down. And arcing up from the lower spine up. Top of the head down, arcing up, and top of the head down, breathing out, breathing in as you arc up, vertebra by vertebra going up, and from the top of the head, vertebra by vertebra down. Good job. Then only going forward with your hands. Finding a stretch here, engaging, engaging the belly, engaging the chest, the shoulders, but maybe come a little bit more forward and down, keeping the hips where they were, coming onto the fingertips, breathing in deeply. And slowly stepping back, the hands, good. 
warming up our body a little bit, finding a good table here, and extending the right arm forward, the left arm, uh, left hand back, left hand. And just holding it here a little, trying to focus on your belly, drawing in and up, your leg pushing back into an imaginary wall, keeping the hips uh, parallel to each other, so not staggered, not open. And just finding a good position, keeping your arm straight, checking with your upper back if it's like fallen through or pushed out. Keep it it's in, in the neutral pose. And get longer as you breathe in from the back leg to the top of the fingers. And breathing out, releasing and breathing in again, get longer. And then come back down. Shake yourselves a little bit, hips to the sides. Come into your elbows just a little, left and right. Releasing the head. <sighs> completely forward. Uh, completely back. Coming into a variant of child's pose, releasing the head down. And coming up again. Let's do the other side. Make sure your shoulders are over the wrists again and hips over the knees. Then lift up, stepping, putting the left hand forward, the right leg back, keeping the checking in with your hips if they are parallel to each other, and also checking in with your back here if it's like neutral so it's not falling through. Like here, that the shoulder like really onto the back and not like extended that the shoulders socket comes away from the back or out of the back it's kind of like in the middle between pushing out from here pushing out the leg as much as you can into an imaginary wall getting longer from the back leg to the top of the fingertips <sighs> drawing the belly in and up and release and coming down and going left and right, just releasing again. <sighs> Getting some juices flowing here. Good. Shake your hand, the right hand, shake the left hand. And then um, go outside with both hands. So turn the index finger, finger like pointing outside. If there's some weight, then turn it towards yourself. Don't push too hard. If there's some valid weight, maybe draw a little bit back. Then put them forward or put them against each other. Index fingers pointing towards each other. And also give there some weight. How does it feel? Then turn one hand around. So palms is one one palm is facing towards the sky now. Give all the weight to the wrist or some weight to the wrist, wrist, and then turn the hand. So the index finger is pointing towards the other hand. Index finger pointing outside. Index finger pointing forward maybe. Does it feel? And relax the hand and do it with the other hand. Index finger pointing to the hand, to yourself. Give there some weight to the outside mat of the mat. And forward. How does it feel? Releasing, shaking the hand. Okay. Sitting back for a moment, grabbing your own fingers and go for an eight here. Warming up the wrists just a little bit more. Getting the juices flowing. <sighs> and 
and shaking the hands. Good. And forward, place your hands on the mat a little bit more forward. Root the finger, finger mounts down, claw the fingertips and shift your hips up and back. Start to walk here a little. Take your dog for a walk. Extend the arms, get longer. Breathing in deeply. With your belly into your chest. And as you breathe in, get longer from the heart to the fingers. Have this intention of yours, bring it back to you. Get really long from the heart to the fingers. And then from the heart to the hips. Good job. Keeping this intention now that we introduced in the beginning, bringing it back. Getting longer from the heart to the hips. And then just with this intention, pull a little bit down on the heels, getting into a deep, juicy downward facing dog and releasing down knees to the sides of the mat or just a little bit to the side, big toes together, sitting back and reaching forward with the hands, releasing the head down. Breathing in deeply into your belly, into your chest. And giving yourself a little bit of a massage here. So bend at the elbows and give yourself a massage if you like. Otherwise, just extend your hands forward. Releasing the head down. Breathing in deeply into your belly, into your chest. And then come back, back up again. Bring your hands forward again. Coming back into downward facing dog and shifting the heels to the left side and finding a strong stretch through the right side body here. Shifting the hips back and then to the left side. Good. Coming back into downward facing dog. Bring the right leg up, bring it forward to the chest, extending it again to the right upper arm extending it breathing in to the left upper arm and extending it again breathing in to the chest and stepping forward coming up into a lunge checking in how it feels with your body drawing the belly in and up extending your hands into the sky and releasing down changing the legs Stepping back, left leg up, left leg forward to your chest, extending it again. How does your left leg feel? Left leg to left upper arm, standing, breathing in to the right upper arm, and extending it again. And to the chest and stepping forward. And come slowly up into a high lunge. Drawing the feet together, drawing the hips together, drawing the belly in and up and extending your hands into the sky. Getting longer from the feet towards the head as you breathe in, uh, towards the fingers as you breathe in. And releasing, taking up more space, coming forward again, placing your hands down. And stepping back, walking a little in the downward facing dog. Then look forward and slowly start moving as you breathe out. Forward, coming into a forward fold here. Keeping the hips over the heels. So if you're not as flexible, maybe a lot of weight will be over the toes. Breathing in deeply. Releasing the head here. Next breath in, we bring your hands to the hips, elbows upward, come on to knees and stand up with a straight back, extend your hands into the sky, 
draw the belly in and up, engage your belly, slight back bend, and bring the hands in front of your heart together. Awesome, good. Close your eyes and feel how your body feels. Release the hands, open the eyes and shift all the way to the left leg. Step back with the right leg and turn it 90 degrees. So check that the front heel, front leg, is in, front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot. So there's a line from the front, front foot going into the middle of the back foot. Drawing the belly in and up, opening the hips to the side here. And maybe, just maybe, if you can't keep the front knee over the heel, you want to lessen the 90 degrees behind, behind there. So you maybe come to 80 degrees, 70 degrees. And check how it this feels to you so that you can have the knee over the heel here. Really. Drawing the belly in and up, extending the hands to the side. And looking over the front, front hand here, turning the hands around, bringing the shoulders onto the back. Feeling strength. And then just turning your hands around again, keeping the shoulders where they are. Drawing the belly in and up, chin a little bit back, looking forward. Good. Let's keep here for a little, breathing in deeply, getting longer through the arms. Uh, breathing out, taking up more space. Breathing in again, getting longer. And then, peaceful warrior. Drawing the belly in and up. And coming forward. Placing the elbow on the knee. Extending the right leg. Drawing the belly in and up. Try to make one line from the bottom of the back foot to the top of the fingers and release come down slowly place your knee down shift your leg a little bit forward and draw back close back to your body and find a strong stretch here don't push too far but try to keep your lower leg straight uh, lower back straight and come forward. If you have some blocks, try to use your blocks. If you're deeper, go deeper. But try to connect with this feeling of the lower back. If the lower back is rounded or not, you can check with one hand and then reach forward from there. Drawing the hips together, drawing the feet up and release. Come around, lift yourselves up. If you like to do some, put something under your knee, under the back leg, under the knee, <coughs> then you can go ahead and do so right now. Otherwise, come up, lay the elbow across over the knee, bring the other leg up slowly, grab around with the thumb pointing up and draw in like this. And here you want to get straighter up, drawing the belly in and up getting straighter from the foot to your head. When you breathe in, get longer and maybe pull in more from the back leg. And if you can pull in enough, you can grab around with the fingers. So the index finger is pointing down at your leg, drawing in a little bit more, draw, coming a little bit more up and releasing down again, slowly and again. Drawing back with the front foot, maybe put it a little bit more forward. Then drawing back the toes, drawing back the whole foot. And again, coming into a strong, juicy stretch here. Maybe with some blocks by the sides. Or just around really mindfully here. <coughs> Uh, 
and then release, placing the hands next to the foot. And it's completely coming back to downward facing dog. Let's start to step a little bit. How do your sides feel? Does one side feel different than the other? As you're drawing the heels towards your mat or to the floor. And then look forward to the hands and slowly start stepping forward as you're breathing out. Release the head forward. Keep your hips over the heels as good as you can. Releasing the head down, breathing in deeply. Bring the hands to the hips, elbows pointing up or come around your knees and stand up with a straight back. Connecting back to your intention here. Bring the hands up into the sky, drawing the belly in and up, engaging the belly, slight back bend. Bring the hands in front of your heart and check in with your body, check in with your intention. <coughs> Good job. Releasing the hands and stepping back, shifting all the way to the right leg, stepping back with the left leg, back, good. And from here, okay, turn, turn the back leg 90 degrees, Oop, I'm changing the sides quickly, okay, good. Front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot, drawing the belly in and up. And check if you can have your front knee over the front um, heel. If that's not possible, maybe go less than 90 degrees with the back foot. And check if you can go then more, bringing the knee more over the heel. Then draw the belly in and really open your hips. Draw the belly in and up, extend your hands the sides looking forward to the front knee direction is forward and turning your hands around bringing your shoulders onto the back and belly in and up and getting longer through the hands and just turning the hands around again keeping the shoulders onto the on the back looking forward chin a little bit back Belly in and up. Ooh, ooh. Awesome. Looking forward for the hands. Peaceful warrior here. Reach forward and back. Turn <coughs> the belly in and up. Suck the belly in and up. And come around, knee or elbow to knee, straighten your hand next to the ear. Head is an extension of the spine here. Check if your head is like looking up or relaxed. Try to keep it as an extension of the spine. Drink the belly in and up. And releasing, coming down, stepping a little bit up on the back and releasing your back leg, your knee down. Maybe you want to put something under your knee right away. Otherwise, draw back, put your front foot a little bit forward and draw back over the heel, drawing the toes back to your body. Lifting yourselves a little bit up, breathing in deeply. And here, focus on having the lower spine straight. So if you have some blocks, maybe use the blocks or use some books. Otherwise, maybe come with the finger po points down, fingertips down. And just around mindfully maybe. And then come forward. 
Okay, place your left, I'm again on the wrong side, doesn't matter, left elbow over the right knee and grab around with the thumb pointing up, bringing your back leg up, grab around and grab around the heel, the ankle, wherever your hand lands and then from here reach, lift yourself a little bit better up coming more straight up, keeping your front knee or front heel and drawing in a little bit maybe more and if you can, you can turn your hand so the index finger is pointing down so you can draw in even more and lift yourselves really up so from the leg, you're long towards your head as you breathe in and as you breathe out, maybe, just maybe twist a little bit more. And releasing down again. Placing the front foot again a little bit forward. Then drawing back over the heel. Drawing the foot back. Lower back straight. And leaning forward, finding a good stretch here. Maybe come up, grab around the hips and lean forward as good as you can. Release, place the hands to the front and step back with the leg. Downward facing dog, how do you do the sides feel right now? Do the sides feel again balanced here? And it's good. Awesome job. And from here we get one more time really long with our intention from the heart to the fingers get longer and from the heart to the hips getting longer uh, and then pulling down with the heels a little bit finding this deep juicy downward facing dog looking forward breathing in deeply as you're breathing out slowly step or jump forward good releasing keeping the hips over the heels so releasing down Releasing the neck. Releasing the head. And slowly bending your knees, bringing the hands to the hips, elbows pointing upward. Come more into your knees and stand up with a straight back. Extend your hands into the sky. Drawing the belly in and up. Slight back bend, bringing the hands in front of your heart. How do you feel right now? Releasing the hands. Come into the middle of your space and start jumping. Releasing all the tension in your body. Only the muscles that are jumping are need to work. All the other muscles are released. So your neck is re released. The shoulders are released. really close your eyes as well just start jumping maybe a little bit off the floor maybe out of the knees if you like as you like and then let's come down from five getting slower and slower four three two that's lower. One and release. How does it feel? Good. Let's come to our back. Lie on down on your back. Yep. Lie back on your back. <sighs> Just lying back and drawing your both knees back at once. And from here, let the feet be close to your hips. Make cactus arms here and release legs to the right side and to the left side. 
let one knee travel first and let the other knee follow. Windshield wipers going a little bit faster. Maybe it's raining a little bit more. So you're going a little bit faster. And it's raining even more. And it's raining even more. Try to go as fast as you can without hurting yourself. It's too fast. Slow down. And let's, let's slow down. The sun is shining. <sighs> the rain is stopping. Let's slow down completely. Make your way towards the wall of your choice. And shift your hips towards the wall. And put your legs up on the wall. Coming into an inversion. Letting all the blood flow down. And stay here. This is a variant one. If you like to go further, put your elbows next to your body, fingers pointing up into the sky, and lift off with the hips, grabbing around the hips and extending the legs. Drawing into the belly, breathe into the belly, into your chest. Breathing in deeply, just looking up into the sky, not looking left or right here, as you don't want to hurt yourself. But all the blood that is stuck in our toes is coming down here for us to reoxygenate. Yes. Deeply breathing into the belly, into the chest. And slowly stepping down, releasing the whole spine down and shifting yourself towards Shavasana. So lying on your back, toes are facing away from each other, hands are Arms are laying next to your body and palms are pointing towards the sky, lying back with your head, just releasing everything, just breathing and just be there where you are right now. You stay for about three minutes and I will get you back to your body, and breathing in deeply. Not breathing in deeply, just be, <laughs> just be.
deeper, deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. When you're ready, draw the knees towards your body. And shift yourself to either the left or the right side if you need to lie in on your side body. Making this lying comfortable for yourself. So you can release a lot of muscles. Check in with your shoulders, with the neck, with the tongue. Release the muscles, check in with your arms, the elbows, the fingers there. Wrists release the muscles, the chest, the belly, the hips, the, the legs, the knees, the feet, the ankle, the toes, release the muscles as you're breathing in your next breath. Think about being carried by the gravity of the earth. next breath in think about your intention you took on today in the beginning of the lesson and lift yourself up coming into a final sitting po position keeping your eyes closed if possible hands in front of your heart together connecting with your intention again and being grateful for your intention and then thanking your intention and letting it go releasing the hands down opening the eyes and so great to practice with you today if you'd like to support me, follow me on the stream platform you're watching. Otherwise, check me out on YouTube. Subscribe and hit the bell there, comment there, like there. And you can also reach out through me through via Discord and talk to me directly. Fight with me directly. Have such a wonderful day. Please, if you have any questions reach out to me if you have any suggestions reach out to me and see you very soon <laughs>